Hi all, welcome to today's post market report and today's expiry day and hope you enjoyed uh, all the expiry volatility and all those stuffs. But uh, from my side, I just informed in the morning, I did not track any trade after closing my initial position. So now just looking at where the market is. So if you look at uh, exactly where the market is, Nifty is exactly around 15.809. So for the day, it was down for more than 430 points and Bank Nifty is 33.315. So down for almost 848 points and uh, both of the indices were down almost for 2.6 percentage to 2.4 percentage and VIX has increased 10 percent. So again trading about 24.5. So only VIX is the key factor. Okay. Uh, other than that it is better for uh, traders to always uh, trade any market but the only thing was during the high VIX environment uh, you just need to ensure that uh, the swings will be pretty large. Let it be with the trend or a counter move will be pretty large based on the week. So that is why most of the people will be getting uh, troubled in the market during the high weeks environment. So if you can just uh, hold on or can accommodate this kind of uh, high weeks movement, uh, so it will be better for uh, you to trade. So from here on, if you ask me what is my view is, so again I said that next to two to three days, I do not want to take any view because market is uh, though at favorable risk reward at the going long but the uh, situations and moreover the news inflow from the global and looking at the VIX uh, so I do not want to initiate any like long positions for the shorter period of the time so even uh, on the May month I was having a, a slightly long positions during the mid of the May so even that I booked a few days back when it was reaching the top and again at the top I almost initiated very small positions on a bearish level even uh, I also mentioned where all the levels I will be like targeted and all those things so from here on so what is the key level thing is now nifty so if you ask me the broad range so as of now uh, unless and until if there is no new negative triggers so I expect market to trade in the range of this you can you can treat it like uh, next uh, kind of 20 to 30 days you can assume so safely this is the range I am expecting 16600 okay so you can you can assume that this is 16600 okay for the bank nifty again 32 so max you can use it as 32,000 and you can call it as 35,500 so actually this is the broad range which I am planning to trade based on my technical analysis but again when market break this flow or break this flow and again if market tends to go up then you just need to concentrate on your risk management point of view. So as for next 20 to 30 days those though seems to be the range was very small comparatively looking at right now 15,800 this is the place market is so here it is 33,300. So this means like I am expecting only small 1000 to 1500 correction. And from there on, I'm expecting at least a bounce. Okay, so same way, this is the range which I wanted to play on my uh, next series. So next series in the sense, next 30 to 30 days, like if I wanted to take a view, I'll be trading only on the June. So May is going to end in the next week, right? Obviously, the monthly expiry is going to be the coming week expiry. So I do not want to play in uh, those kind of situation. I've been repeatedly saying uh, during the uh, closure of the expiry in the weekly so after the Wednesday don't take any heavy positions again same way when you're trading in the monthlies at the end of the third week try to close your positions uh, like lighten your positions rather than getting more heavy on the positions on the last uh, period of the expiry so this is what my view is and maybe for the next two to three days I am expecting slightly bullish unless and until uh, no negative trigger but for the day if you look at for the day how the nifty and bank nifty in terms of price action so price action nifty closed almost near days low so 20 to 30 points is the day low again this is also low close so if you ask me like a BDST or tomorrow view I expect tomorrow opening to be again because it is closing at the low so i expect market to either stay flat or slightly negative okay this is based on the price action immediately for the next day whereas this level is for 
a broader range for the next 20 to 30 days. This is what I am planning and moreover we will see because looking at uh, uh, the price action and moreover if you look at uh, institutional data also. <laughs> so don't need to worry every day for the I think uh, for the entire May series uh, FA have been regularly seller only like DA have been supporting so that level so that the net flow outflows are not drastic. So today again we need to see how that number is going to reflect and maybe at the end of the day we can just read it and we can get an idea about it. Maybe tomorrow while market is opening. So I expect market to be flat to slightly bearish okay. So flat in the sense market is at the important juncture and moreover the global sell off has happened. So I am expecting if there is no further negative news I expect flat opening in the market for Indian uh, indices and moreover if not the price action will take the price lower in the tomorrow. So that is what my expectation is. and my expectation is uh, I do not expect a huge target for even if it is going to gap down on all those things. So because the levels were 32,000 to 32,500 is the key level. So that is a long term level and the recent swings were like somewhere around I think 33, 33 is the recent swing but even if this breaks I expect 32,000 to 32,500 to hold on the bank nifty. So same way even the recent swings of so 15640 and even 15700 or something like that. So this was an uh, kind of medium low. So this is a very immediate low. So even if this breaks I expect this 15400 to hold. If this is not going to hold then obviously it is going to open up a new range in positional. So this is this range I have just made based upon my high time frame and uh, wanted to play this range. Okay, so you can assume that 15400 if it breaks this point a new range and again 16600 above this is going to open up a new range. So other than that I expect a market to trade in this broad range for next 2 to 3 weeks. So accordingly I may be initiating my position. So hope you also like uh, take care of uh, all these things because the expiry is getting over there might be again a monthly closing expiry volatility will be available for the current week. So ensure that you do not get into uh, that kind of issues. So hope you enjoyed watching this video and catch you tomorrow on the market opening report. Signing off Tamutram.